Yeah, hi. Through this video, we will discuss the thermoregulation in vertebrates in detail. So, temperature has an important metabolic effect on living tissues because biochemical reaction rates are sensitive to the temperature of the surrounding medium and normally increase to 2 to 3 times for each 10 degree centigrade increase in temperature. So, graph represents the homeotherms and the poikilotherms and relation between, between the body temperature and the air temperature in animals. So, regulation of body temperature allows them to regulate uh, or operate under thermal conditions that ensure optimum enzyme function and heat balance uh, is a heat gain by the body through the metabolic heat production or from the environment must equal heat loss if the body temperature is remain constant so difference between the heat production and the heat loss is given here so radiation radiation occurs in the form of the electromagnetic waves and needs no medium to propagate it therefore radiation will travel through the near vacuum or space or through the atmosphere on a thermal gradient from the warmer to the cooler cooler region emissivity uh, is a surface refers to the properties as a radiator and conduction the heat flow between the two objects whose surface are in contact with each other called as a conduction and heat moves down as a thermal gradient from the warmer to the cooler uh, cooler object so convention uh, convention uh, is the exchange of the uh, fluid uh, exchange of the energy between the fluid or the gaseous medium and evaporation for each gram of the water evaporated from the 0.5 to what uh, of heat is lost in this uh, there is a flow chart of the thermal regulation in the mammals so here are the some points that how the factors are regulated uh, or regulate regulate the heat loss so first of all panting panting is observed uh, normally in dogs for the uh, conversion or the regulation of the uh, heat sweating uh, in mammals man's, uh, man's skins uh, contain more than 2 million sweat glands which are under control of the sympathetic nerve fibers so regulation of the heat production by the factors as air temperature falls the rate of the heat production must increase to compensate for the increased rate of the heat loss so increased activity as the muscle contraction produces more body heat this activity is under the voluntary control and it includes the shivering effect. So, non shivering thermogenesis is a generalized increase of the heat production from the various sources in the body, in, is termed as the non shivering thermogenesis. So, it is additive to the heat produced in the skeletal muscles by shivering or the activity. Brown fat, uh, mainly present in the small kids. Uh, so, brown adipose is well developed in the hibernate newborn mammals, uh, man. So, thermal regulation and the exercise. During exercise, the core body temperature increases and the magnitude of the rise is proportional to the work internally generated heat and independent of the environmental temperature. Physiological uh, adjustment and the extreme temperature. Acclimatization. Seasonal changes in the climate. Uh, let's uh, physiologic changes in animals cause the acclimatization. So, cold is in an heterothermic boards and mammals. They are shut down their metabolic machinery and allow body temperature to fall within a degree so of the uh, environmental temperature in human beings the increased heat production occurs by shivering or the activity a further response to cold is a massive vasoconstriction that helps to maintain core temperature by reducing heat transfer to the peripheral area of the body heat heat is uh, produced by metabolism radiation conduction and convention so heat stroke it is a condition in which the temperature of the peripheral and the deep body tissues increase resulting in the unconsciousness the body doesn't sweat and the evaporate cooling is lacking fever it is a physiologic condition characterized by the elevated core body temperature caused by the presence of the pyrogens in the blood so here are the mechanism which regulate the body temperature by decreasing the temperature so first is the vasodilation of the skin blood vessels sweating decrease in the heat production and the there is a mechanism that increase the mechanism uh, increase the temperature of the body that is vasoconstriction throughout the body pillow erection increase in the thermogenesis heat production so fur is outside the skin and circulation and its insulating properties can be changed rapidly only by flatting or deflopping through the pillow motor control so all about the thermal regulation in mammals keep watching thank you